All right, I'm Kevin. I'll be talking about my setup today. I uh, picked up this Z2 January 2015. I've used it for two seasons, and uh, I wouldn't want any other bow that I'm shooting. So I came out with new bows, and uh, I've shot some of them. Halons, the 6, the 32, the no cams. Uh, I like Matthew, so all the uh, points and stuff, you know. Not that I'm not a fan of them, they're great bows, but this is just my setup. This is what I like. Uh, two seasons, it's done me great. I mean, it's made every shot that I wanted to make. Uh, so let's see, this site is actually new for me. It's the CBE TL3 site. It's a three pin adjustable sight. So you set in your bottom pin at 40 yards and sight it in and uh, your bottom pin, it can adjust your bottom pin from 40 to 100 yards. And then your top top two sights, I don't know if you can see it, those will be uh, 30 yards and 20 yards. So it's great if you, if you have it set at 40 yards, you know you have 20, 30, 40 set out. If something's a little farther out, axis, elk, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you hunt, something's farther out, you can just flip this up and adjust it up or down, whatever whatever range you want. Lock it back in, and you're good to go. If you're set at 40 yards, and uh, something comes in at 20, you don't have to worry about taking adjusting it to 20. You know you have your 20 yard pin right there. So this site's really great. Uh, I just got it maybe a month ago. <clears throat> I'm really excited to use it this summer. Um, before that, I had a five pin site, and. Uh, no complaints about that, it does everything I want it to, but I just stepped this up for my access and my elk hunts later this year. I want to be able to have that little extra range just in case. Uh, got my Trophy Ridge Revolution drop away rest. I've had this on here since I got the bow. It works great. Uh, it's not as a straight, not as a straight drop away. It's got a little twist in it. Uh, I like it though, it's fine for everything I need it to do. Um, regular stabilizer nothing fancy there uh, my strings I shoot zebra strings I've shot them since the beginning this set I got on about a month ago actually brand new brand new set uh, everything custom in red because that's, that's, that's what I like shooting in uh, all the accessories red and stuff uh, quiver I use a Matthews T6 quiver uh, easy detach just quick and easy just like that you can set it, set it when you get in your tree stand or it's easy to pack around and set on the ground if you see so see a shot you need to go get. Uh, arrows, I shoot Beeman ICS arrows at the Beeman ICS Hunter Pros and I found the Beeman ICS Whiteouts. Uh, the Whiteouts are sweet looking arrows. They're, they're legit but when it comes to stalking an animal I prefer the regular ICS Hunter Pros just because white stands out more. So. If you're in a tree stand or pop up ground blind, the white is okay. Uh, if you're stalking or doing any kind of hunts like that, I, I, I prefer the camo, but anybody likes that, uh, whatever you prefer. But as far as the Z2 shoots, it performs great. Uh, I know they came out with the Z3 this year and uh, same model. It, it looks, looks exactly the same. Only thing is the Z2 has the old honeycomb the traditional Matthews honeycomb um, look, which I, I like growing up. That's always what I wanted, so I uh, was able to get one. The Z3, it's a great bow. Uh, I mean, pretty much the same thing, like I said, but I just like the way this one looks and the way it feels. The grip, the grip on this one, it sits in your hand good. You can hold it out there and you can just relax your hand. It'll sit, it'll sit perfect. It uh, shoots fast enough to kill everything I've, I've had to shoot at. Uh, whether it be whitetail, hogs, axis, uh, doing my first elk hunt this year, so that'll be fun in Colorado. But uh, axis hunt in June, that's uh, that's what's on, that's what's up next on the schedule. So it's, it's done me good, it's done me good uh, past two years. So really looking forward to it, and uh, looking forward to bringing some more great videos.